These next two iMachining operations in Exercise 2 iMachining of a Bracket perform the cutting of the three semi-open pockets and seven closed pockets. First, let's take a look at the iRough Pockets operation. Double-click on the operation in the cam tree to open the iMachining operation dialog. By clicking the Show button in the Geometry branch, we can see that all ten of these pockets are located on the same Z level. This means they can all be machined in this one operation. The first three chains have edges marked as open and wall, allowing the tool to enter from those edges. Five of the closed chains use the through pockets as entry chains. The last two chains labeled 6 and 7 are simple closed pockets and the tool will enter them using helical ramping. Exit the Show Geometry dialog by clicking Cancel. We will be using a 3 8 inch diameter bullnose mill with a corner radius of a 16th inch, as shown on the tool page of the iMachining Operation dialog. The levels have been picked with no additional delta depth. We will use the default technology wizard settings with a machining level aggressiveness of 6. In the technology branch, we can see that this iRough operation has a 10 thou allowance on the wall. Let's click Simulate and take a look at our toolpath at work. In HostCAD, press play. We can see the tool approaches the first three pockets from the outside. The tool enters the remaining pockets either by entry holes or helical ramping. Take notice of the toolpath and how these pockets are cleared with iMachining's patented morphing spiral technology. Now, let's view the simulation using Solid Verify. Press play to view the cutting tool in 3D moving through the solid stock material. Exit the simulation and operation dialogs and open the I Finish Pockets operation from the CAM Manager. This operation was made as a copy and will finish the pockets. I Finish is listed for technology. The copy geometry selections, tool, and milling levels are all used from the previous iRough operation. We will use the default technology wizard settings with a machining level aggressiveness of 6. Switch to the technology branch. Under the technology tab, we can see the wall island offset value is now set to zero and is locked from being changed. Also, under the iRest data tab, notice that the previous iRough pockets operation appears in the parent operation combo box and the three inherited values are used for calculating rest material. Let's click simulate. First, we'll use our HostCAD mode to view the wireframe toolpath at work on the model by pressing play. Then, We'll look at the machining of our part in Solid Verify. Using the slider, first slow the simulation speed down and then press the play button again. The finishing of each pocket is performed with a single profile pass. Let's exit the simulation control panel and then exit the iMachining operation dialog. 